Despite the pandemic, there are three separate restaurants being built in Sampson. One business along the North South State Highway 87 is looking to cash in on beachbound traffic. WDHN's Mike Gerspan says rural Western Geneva County appears to be on the bubble of a development spurt. At the site of the old Cruz Barbecue Eatery, a nearly 5,000 square foot building is going up. The Alabama Pecan Company Shop and Restaurant will have both indoor and outdoor dining, which includes a coffee and souvenir shop. Its owner, Adam Shanks, was part of the Chick-fil-A's management team in the Midwest. He plans to incorporate Southern hospitality with social media and virtual advertising, attracting residents and beach travelers along State Highway 87. Listen, we've seen a lot of excitement. Uh, we've got a lot of positive feedback from the community, and fortunately there's a lot of stuff going on in Sampson right now. Um, and so I think it's going to complement well and, and hopefully, like I said, be able to capture more of that beach traffic. In Sampson's downtown district, a large service plaza is being built. In addition, a new restaurant is being put up at the old police department building. Main Street dates back to the early 20th century. Former Geneva County Commissioner Sandy Hammer has had a construction company of his own for more than three decades. He sees real growth taking place in Sampson. We have a nice community. Uh, this has been my hometown for about 28 to 30 years. Uh, I married a girl from here and we, we've, Sampson has been really good to us. Geneva County has been really good for us and we're just trying to give back to the community. Despite the pandemic, business owners and city officials say they are seeing the early stages of new growth in the community. Reporting in Sampson, Mike Rispan, WDHN News for the Wiregrass. As a border town, several Sampson business owners hope to cash in on the unofficial start to the summer tourist season in the next few weeks. In